That is a really attractive start to the video, isn't it? I'm sat in the car and uh, the lighting is really terrible. I don't even know if there's a different way that I can hold it. Well, then I'm just looking directly into the sun. Perhaps. Ugh. We'll have to do it this way. We'll have to do it this way with the, <laughs> the uh, shadow from the rear view mirror over my eyes. Uh, welcome to Vlogmas. <laughs> <laughs> what a start to the Christmas videos. Um, I'm so, currently sat in the car. I look huge. I look like my body just goes on for miles in either direction of my neck because I'm so bundled up. It is freezing at the moment. Um, so I'm basically out on my own in the car because Tom went to the supermarket this morning to get a few bits for the weekend and I totally forgot to tell him that we need a cat litter. So... Um, basically, if I don't change to Stanley's cat litter tray today, he'll probably end up coming into my own house and really don't want that to happen. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to nip out to the supermarket and get some cat litter. Um, and that's about it. <laughs> There's nothing exciting happening. Um, but I thought I'd just start the video in the car because I was a bit aware that Vlogmas videos have to go up tonight for the first night. Um, and we're not doing anything today. So it's just going to be a really boring, short vlog, I think, where I just kind of film what we're doing about the house and stuff for the day. But obviously I want to start it because I am going to do Vlogmas every other day throughout December. I'm not going to commit to 25 videos just because my life literally is not interesting enough for you to want to watch every day. But I am going to do one every other day and I'm also going to... Some of them are going to be a bit like vlog style, like this, and some of them are going to be like sit down videos to do with writing. Um, and I'm going to do another day in the life of a writer video um, throughout Vlogmas as well. So if you like to the other two, stay tuned. <laughs> a third one is coming. Right, let's get to the supermarket. I'm home again. Um, I've been to the supermarket and I've got Stanley's litter um, and he's got a new tray now. Um, Tom made me a coffee, although he made it me before I had to nip out to the supermarket. So it's a little bit cold now, but I can't bring myself to throw it away. So um, I've got it here and I'll just drink it cold. It's fine. Um, I'm back in my office um, and I'm actually just doing the crossword with my mum. So me and my mum have got this little ritual that we do every day we've done it for probably about a month now where we do the crossword together so it's a very specific crossword it's um, one from the Huddersfield Examiner which is our local paper back home and she gets it every day to read and this that, and the other but there's a crossword in the back of it and it's kind of the perfect type of crossword it's like not too cryptic but it's not really easy either um, and we both really enjoy doing it. So she sends me a photograph of the crossword every day. So I'll show you what she does. So here's my phone. So this, oh gosh, the light's not great. So she sends me that first. So that's the grid of the crossword that we're doing. And then what I do is I draw it out in a book which I know there's easier ways to do it. I know I could just print the photograph and do it that way, but I've kind of got into the habit of doing it this way. And I also keep all of them from every day. It's like, well, I don't keep them. It's just that I've got into the habit of doing them in one notebook. So they're all there from the past days. So she sends me that and I'll, um, I'll set up the grid and everything. And then she also sends me the clues. So once I've got my grid set up, I then fill it with the answers from the clues so as you can tell I've not done that much today um, I started it and then um, I ended up going out to get Stanley some litter so I'm just <laughs> going to finish I'm going to finish that off uh, my battery's flashing on this uh, camera because again like I said earlier um, I totally forgot that today was the first day of vlogmas so I haven't got any of my batteries charged 
So I've got one on charge now um, and I'm going to finish off the crossword and then I might catch back up with you or I might just film myself doing some work in a bit. Like I say, it's a really, really shit day to have started Vlogmas because I haven't really planned anything for today. So it's just going to be quite cash and as we go along with stuff. So, yeah. Tom House? What you doing? Rigging up something to cut wood. So what are you doing? Are you putting that into the wood? And then what are you going to put the log in that thing and then the saw? The fits through the grooves but ah. I can't really do it, just um, by holding it because it's not rigid enough, you just need something no. just to hold it down slightly. Right. So this is some DIY Serious DIY. Basically, we need some wood for a fire. All the bits that we get from our landlord are too big, and uh, he's given me his saw, but some of them it's just holding them. So I found this thing, which I think is for um, when you do like uh, like miter joints and stuff. When you're making like a when you fake kitchens or what have you. So I thought. That it's good enough for a little piece of wood. Bolt it to the table, put my wood in it, and I should be away. That's the plan, anyway. Right, my doers. See how we get on with that. This saw's too blunt and there's just no way of holding anything. Need a vice. <sighs> okay, well that exercise was pretty fruitless. Um, bagger. I can get some wood cut tonight, it's going to be a cold evening. <sighs> I'm going to try and reuse what's left of last year's Christmas tree. Now oh, we're nearly out. Ta da! So we've got one piece of wood. Success. Four pieces of wood. Right. That should be enough to get us started. So I lay the uh, fire a bit down. Get my fire lighters all lined up. 
Can't even do this without dropping the camera or setting myself on fire. Let me knock all that. downstairs and get a few little bits of wood that we can get to fit in the fire. We have to dig out pieces of wood that will fit. That will. That won't. That won't. you have to get more in this fire than you think. <sighs> so, let that get going and I'll make a gin and tonic, I think. Not quite as good as the book Charlotte, she's had much more practice at placing the camera where it needs to be and speaking to it a bit more. Quite new to this YouTubing lark. So, yeah, I think I'll make a gin. So, uh, Charlotte made me a personalised advent calendar. Um, it's like 25 days of just random stuff. Like yesterday was a, a Lego minifigure, a little alpine skier, which is pretty cool. And uh, today I got a bottle of gin. Not quite. So. I'll just go on my uh, little app and see what it says about it. Not if you spell it right. G. Ah! Siegfried. That's easy to say. Siegfried Rhineland Jai Den. It's a dry gin with 18 botanicals Germany so I need fever tree tonic which we don't have and lemon zest so that I think we can manage so that's as I sorted that's 40 mils, I usually put 50 in a gin so Keep the bottle though, it's quite chunky and cute. I'm sure I can find some use for that. Uh, lemon zest. Zest that. Still smells pretty zesty though. Also, France need to invest in. Uh, other varieties of tonic other than Schweppes at the uh, Hmm, it's quite pleasant with that. Yeah, sometimes you get like German gins that are kind of like 40, between 40 and 45 percent, they're really, really strong. Whereas that's just quite 
quite pleasant. Right. Check on our fire. Ah, uh, it's ricking. See what Charles doing. And then we're gonna do some work. You ready? Right, yes. You done? Yes. Did your um thing work? No. no. It will do. We need a sharper saw. Right. Into the camera. Take the camera. Yeah, the saw's too blunt. All oh, right. So I was just saying, I might get it down to Brick and Marsh and buy uh, a new saw. Right. Oh, I'm sure I've enough for tonight. Right. So, so I'll show them how to make fire. You've been showing them how to make fire. And how to make gin. And how to make gin. Well, those are all you need, really. That's what my title video: How to make fire and gin. Absolutely. Right. Okay. I need to leave. Is this my gin or is it your gin? Mine. You didn't make me a gin? There's only enough for one. Only enough what? That uh, Siegfried stuff that you bought me. Oh, is that that one? Yeah. Did you not have a look online as to what to do with it? Yeah, I did. That's why it's got lemon around it. Is that all you do with that one? Yeah. All right. Quite nice. So basically I bought, I made, well, I didn't buy. <laughs> I made Tom an advent calendar for Christmas. Already which. Told them. Oh, have you already told them all about it? Yeah. Oh, you already know all about that then already. <laughs> So he's obviously made a gin with the um, miniature, the gin miniature that I bought him today, that was in his advent calendar today, I should say. So let's have a try. Let's see. I don't know what Tom's reaction's been on on camera. So shift. Poor puddy tat. That makes your ears laugh a bit, doesn't it? It's quite pleasant. So it's not too ginny, but it's nice and oh, it's uh, nice. nice and citrusy. <laughs> it's quite nice. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm quite happy on. with that though. Yeah, you could have had you could have had see a chocolate advent calendar bog standard. No, I can get on board with these gin and uh, gin advent calendars. The gin vent. The gin ventory. Gin vent advent calendar. Well, you're not, you haven't got 25 days of gin. I'm just telling you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got 25 right. days of gin. Right, I'm going to check right. on the fire. You're checking on your fire? Yes. Right. This battery's going to die any second. Like I say, I have, been, um, I have been charging up my batteries, which is why... Tom was able to do all of his bit of filming, so hopefully this has been okay. <laughs> Normally when I uh, when we do a video, I've like planned that we're going to be doing something throughout the day, and so I know roughly what kind of uh, setup or what kind of footage I'm going to get for the day, but this has been totally off the cuff. I'm aware that I look bald again. I was going for um, I was going for the kind of high ponytail look today, but it don't translate well to camera. Blow the candle out. Right, I've done about all I can bring myself to do now for the day um, in the office. Oh, oh, you can f literally feel the warm as you descend from upstairs. Oh, it's toasty. You're toasty. Yes. Look at you two. Look at that cat. Are you all right there, puss? This fire's so lovely and toasty. For some reason my office at the moment just isn't heating up with the radiator. I think it needs bleeding. You can probably hear Tom sawing wood in the garage. Um, I think I might make a start with tea. We're having um, creamy beef stroganoff tonight, like with pasta. So I think I might make a start on that. I might make myself a gin, seeing as though Tom's had one. I think I might make myself one as well. So I totally forgot to film um, the pasta that I made. It was okay. Um, wasn't the best pasta dish I've ever done. It was a uh, beef stroganoff. It was alright though, it was edible. Tom liked it. Um, I wasn't too sure about it. So yeah, we had dinner. 
watch some friends while we had dinner. Um, right, bedtime? Yeah. Yep, we're gonna go to bed. Um, so I have, I'm under no pretenses that you will have enjoyed this video <laughs> because it's been a bit like ad hoc and hasn't really been anything to really watch or anything like that, but uh, better will be coming. Be better tomorrow. Be better tomorrow. I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm gonna film tomorrow again, I'm I think. doing something tomorrow. Um, yeah, we are doing something, so it'll make a better video. And uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow for day two of Swissmas. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> night night. <laughs>